Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be 10 minutes and out the door makeup look. I have done this multiple times when I have no time but I still want to look alive. This is the finished makeup look. It is really simple. Don't do all the extras just because you're saving time. And also just want to mention really quick, if you use one product for multiple purposes, like just for example, this little e.l.f. palette here, this is a highlighter and a blush. But for this video, multi-purpose saves time. So I do use this as my highlighter. I have it on right now. And I did use this as my blush. I have this on now. But also I used it as my eyeshadow. So when you use one product for multiple different things, it saves time. You don't have to go reach for different products. You don't have to look for other products. You have one product for multi-uses. It saves a lot of time. It's great. I actually love doing that when I have no time. So just a little side note there. That's what we're going to do in this video today. If you haven't already, please go subscribe. I am a small YouTube channel. Every subscription helps. I do upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And with no further ado, let's get right into this video. So hey guys, jumping right into this video, I'm first going to apply my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I absolutely love this one for when I'm doing powder foundation. I find that it makes my powder look very smooth underneath. You don't want to use anything that's like oil control or anything like that because I find that the powder sticks to it. So using this just really smooths out any rough edges or anything like that and it looks super nice. So going in with my dose of colors in the shade 003, that is my favorite concealer. I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. I do need to brighten up under there and then going to use it as a lid primer also. Just going to take this little e.l.f. concealer sponge which I have been absolutely loving. It's little and it fits right under the eye. I'm just going to go ahead and smooth this out. And then same thing on the top of the eye. Just blend it out. And by the way, this is not wet. This is just a dry sponge. Either way, it works really good. So, so just going to be doing the same thing on the other eye. Just smoothing that out and blending it into the skin. And this concealer blends into the skin flawlessly. And it just brightens up everything the first time. I never have to go back in and do a second layer. So I absolutely love this concealer. And as you can see there, I only do under my eyes because the powder foundation is going to do the rest for us. But right there you can see it covered up everything that I needed it to. Going in with my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder. That's a mouthful. And I am going to just use the little applicator that it comes with. I actually find that it's not as bad as I first initially thought it was. So I have just been using this little applicator. And as you can see, the color is actually a little light for me. I might go back and get a little darker color, but it does work because I use this all the time. But just going to apply that like down stripe motions just because you have little tiny facial hairs and I just tend to want to push my makeup down just to keep them in line. So just going to use that same powder and a Real Techniques brush and just set all that concealer which is just a little bit. So just want to set wherever I put the concealer and then going straight back in to applying our powder foundation. And as you can see, I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation, but this powder foundation really covers and really does a good job. So just putting that all over, and this does give a, I would say, high medium coverage that you can build it to. I wouldn't necessarily say it's straight full coverage, but it covers up everything that I needed to cover. And I do this a lot just because most days I don't wear liquid foundation. I just don't have the time to apply and do the extra steps. So this is why I decided to make this video because this look I do a whole lot when I'm just needing to put something on my face and I want to look alive. And this powder I absolutely love. So and just continuing applying with that same applicator I really want to get enough coverage like right there where my hyperpigmentation is 
worse in that area and I'm kind of just using a patting motion now just to get that coverage so just patting all over my face on the top of my forehead and then I'm, I'm going to go in with this pure cosmetics brush and this is a powder foundation brush so it is made for powder and it is super soft super large and it really makes this foundation look super airbrushed and flawless so I absolutely love this brush. I did pick it up at my local Kohl's. So, but I have had it for a few years. I'm not even sure if they make this brush anymore, but that's what it is. And as you can see, literally looks like my skin, but better. The color I see is just a little bit off. I could use like probably one shade down, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. Gonna go in with this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And this bronzer is a little bit more pigmented than my Milani Silk Matte Bronzer, which is okay. I usually use this in the summertime just because this is a little bit more warm toned, but since this powder is a little bit light, I really need to give my face back some dimension and some color, so that's why I chose this today, and it smells heavenly like coconuts. So just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, around my forehead, and then of course my jawbone. And a little bit on my eyes just to give some color back to the skin and as you can see right there it's like a three shape I do it's so fast but it is kind of in like that shape of a three so going in with my little elf palette here and going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and like I was saying in the beginning when you use one product for multi-purpose it does save time so just putting that wherever the high points on my face are I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose. And really love these little elf palettes. Like for $3, you can't beat it. And they're so good. They don't have kickback. It's super pigmented. They have a lot of colors. So nothing at all bad to say about these little palettes. I absolutely love them. And then going to go in with that blush shade and just apply that to the tops of my cheeks I know some people love to put blush on the apples of their cheeks but I, it's not a good look for me so I, I don't I just put everything to the back of my face and then gonna go in with that same blush color and we're gonna throw this in the eyes for the transition shade right there in the crease like I said just using one product for multiple things saves a lot of time so I find myself doing that a lot lately when I don't really have time to be all glammed up and I am going to use that same highlighting shade that we put on our face as my highlight on my brow bone. And that is just a little e.l.f. flat shader brush that I got at my local Walmart for $3. And I am going to go in with my finger and apply this highlighter color to my lid because I use my finger for any shimmer glitter or anything like that I just honestly think it's the best tool for that kind of product so I always use my finger on my lid and then just going through and brushing my brows not going to do too much to them I don't have sparse brows so I usually just brush through and go going in with my bare minerals strength and length mascara just going to quickly apply two coats of that and this wand as you can see is a little bit tricky it's kind of like a flat paddle and at first when I got this mascara I was like oh heck no but I did use it again I did give it another go and you do have to work with it a little bit but it's super good you guys this really lengthens and it really does volumize but the best thing about this mascara is that it has lash loving ingredients in it and that it's good for your lashes and it makes your lashes like stay soft throughout the day. They're not crunchy or crispy or anything and it doesn't flake or smudge. So been loving that. Then going to go back in with that little elf palette and just highlight the inners of our eyes with that same little palette. And that's what I mean by one product but multi-purpose. Just using it to brighten up the inners of my eyes and loving it for that then gonna go in with my nyx lip liner that is in the shade of violet smoke i absolutely love wooden lip liner pencils i find that the nyx one lasts all day even through eating and drinking so 
my absolute favorite. It wasn't my yearly favorite, so I do use this all the time. And I am using this cute little makeup revolution. <laughs> this is actually a nighttime lip mask. And this is the watermelon one. I think they have like two other flavors. But you just pop the little top off and it smells so heavenly. You guys, it smells so good. And I have been using this at nighttime. But for winter, I find that the wonderful because I need something on my lips at all times. So I'm going to go in with my LA Girl spray. It looks just like that. And I'm going to literally drench my face with this just because we are wearing a powder foundation. And I need all those powders to sink in my skin and look like skin. And this does smell like coconuts. And there you have it, you guys. That is the 10 minutes and out the door makeup look. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.